The Tapio Private School is staying one step ahead, hosting a fundy for grade 6 students and instructors to acquaint them with the procedures and protocols that will govern their 16-day stay at school. Principal Andruna Gill says that apart from the sanitation staff's adoption of a strict cleaning regime, the school is also abiding by the laundry list of protocols outlined by the Ministry of Education. We also went through the checklist given by the Ministry of Education and some other protocols we put in place. As you can see, when you got in, the gate is open so that nobody touches the gate. We have the automatic hand sanitizer, so you don't have to touch. As the children come, um, came up, we have the temperature gun. So everybody has a card. They record the temperature. They record the temperature on the card every day. They'll be recording the temperature on the card so that they know within the range if they're normal. Every child will also receive a basket to place their backpacks and must maintain a distance of six feet from their peers. Principal Gill was asked about concerns over the wearing of masks for prolonged periods of time. If they don't feel comfortable, they can put up their hands. The teacher will allow them to go on the field or in the bathroom because we have an open space and as you can see we have the fresh sea breeze by tapio so it has not been an issue however there's a parent who has connection with china and he has he has um ordered some face shield for us so when that gets hit uh, on on next week each child will have a face shield they'll have their own bag so if they feel comfortable with the face shield they will they will because they'll be here for 16 days so we are trying to do what we can to make sure that they are comfortable the principal says there is an air of excitement among the students over the forthcoming common entrance examinations. However, concerns about the multiple choice format of the standardized tests linger. They started in their minds the exam being in one mode and now they only have to do um, objective type. So what the teachers now have been asking them to do is to teach them how to answer objective type question because some people think that objective type is, is easy. Objective type can be more difficult than subjective. You understand? So it's a technique that they have to be taught. So I think that's the only area, but I think after they work for the 16 days with the teacher, who she's quite experienced and she has another teacher with her. So it's the two of them working with the children. I think they will get there. The school administrator touts the establishment's 14 student classrooms and the ease of instruction. She says that the institution will look to offer smaller numbers per classroom in the new school year in September to ensure hands-on, one-on-one learning. Sula Jalfred, HTS News Force.